There are five dribble drills that I think are a supreme necessity for every player, regardless of position, size, or age. And we're gonna break them down right now. First drill that we have is just gonna be a quick manipulation drill. You're gonna grab a cone, keep your base nice and wide outside the cone, and you're gonna keep ball in one hand. You put your other hand behind the back. And we're just gonna practice manipulating the ball and dribbling straight down at certain locations on the, uh, either side of the cone. What this helps with is the, what happens to the ball in midair. So as we let ball hit hand, whoops, we let ball hit hand, we wanna be able to manipulate, control it to get into each dribble. Okay, this is gonna really help with our ability to be able to control ball as it gets to hand when we dribble in a game. And as we do so, we're gonna allow that weight to rock back and forth. We're gonna give a timetable for us, so 30 seconds left hand, 30 seconds right hand, we're gonna do that twice. The second dribble drill that we have is just focusing on our pocket. So like we did with the first one, manipulation while ball is in air, ultra important. And we also need to operate or figure out how to operate with the ball at the hip. So whenever we go into an attack move, like a drop or a split, understanding how to float that dribble and pull it back to the pocket is super important. So what we'll do in this case, we're still gonna have that manipulation, but on the second dribble that we take, we're gonna manipulate ball in air and bring it all the way to the hip. One, two. One, two, pulling ball wide. It's still allowing my body weight to shift back and forth. We have 30 seconds, each hand doing that twice. Once we focus on the manipulation aspect of our dribbling, now we're gonna activate our feet to time ball and lower body together. So what we'll do, still have our manipulation, we're actually gonna take three dribbles now, and on that third dribble, we pull ball to pocket, and then we're gonna get into a drop stance. In that drop stance, we're gonna allow our back foot to replace right underneath our shoulder, behind our shoulder, in a southeast position, and our ball side foot is gonna be planted at an angle, so northwest, on our shoulder, right outside that frame. And you're gonna get your body in this nice, wide, balanced position where we can attack and utilize different options to score. You can drive out of this position, you can counter out of this position, you can gather into shot, you can retreat, or you can pass, five different options. So one, two, three, we drop, and as we drop, get that base nice and wide, we're gonna feel that weight evenly distributed. As we do so, inside hand is just gonna to touch the top of the cone in order to practice that off hand engaging our defender. One, two, three, drop. One, two, three, drop. Chest is gonna stay up, dropping that footwork into that balanced position, having that inside hand drop to the top of the cone. ball handling drill that every player should be doing is going to be a more progressive ball handling drill. Still incorporating our manipulation, stationary positioning, but now we're going to add the footwork to the pocket dribble and then a progressive attack. Okay, so what we're doing is we take three dribbles, we pull ball to pocket, we get into that drop stance with the inside hand touching cone, and then once we do that, we're reaching for space. On these first series, I'm just going to go into a speed stop. So the inside foot, outside foot, inside foot, outside foot hits, and then I'm gonna transition that ball to the opposite hand or exchange that ball to my opposite hand. Once I exchange, I'm gonna retreat back to my starting position. One, two, three, drop touch, speed stop behind, retreat back to starting position. Alternating angles or alternating directions. You guys can go into any stop separation move that you'd like though. 
If you want to do a drag, boom, plant outside foot and drag. Inverted drag, plant inside foot, drag that ball back to space. Punch drag, punch, same foot, same hand. When you retreat, you can retreat back and then exchange hands to go the opposite direction. Get creative with it, but make sure we're focusing on our ability to attack new position and stop control. The final ball hunting drill that every player should be doing is going to a cross between behind consistently for 90 seconds. This is just gonna be a burnout drill, a burnout series. It's gonna focus on our hand speed and us being able to dribble the ball aggressively while we're fatigued. All we're gonna do is take one crossover, one between, one behind. We're gonna do that consistently, switching every series that we go through. Cross, between, behind. Every time you complete a cross between behind, that's gonna be one. Cross between behind, two, three, four, five. And for 90 seconds, you're gonna keep your running count. The record that we have here is 108 in 90 seconds. So make sure you hold yourself accountable. Try to beat that score. Once you guys master these drills, head on over to the CJ McCollum workout, master our ball handling drills. I think it's at minute three. Check them out, do them, get those handles right. Let's get it.